Hello guys and welcome. Today I'm going to do a non-spoiler review of Halo Epitaph. So I read the book last week and I finished it in a few hours. And Halo Epitaph was a really great book. It's written by Kelly Gay. It officially comes out uh, in a few days, so it's not really out yet. But I managed to get an early copy of it, so don't worry about spoiler, guys. Um, I'm not gonna spoil anything. So the premise of the book is, you know, what happened to the Didact after Halo 4, after um, Halo Escalation, issue 7, 8, and 9. Um, the, um, the 48 hours after arc, uh, where Master Chief and Blue Team, the rest of Blue Team, where Blue Team goes on to fight the Didact after the Didact kills Black Team. And then he gets submitted to the power of uh, six composers going off at the same time. So the book then takes on from that. And, well, I'm not going to say exactly what happened. But let's talk about the didact. He was so well written by Kelly Gay. And the book, the story, is very much character focused. I'll tell you guys that much. So you will get a lot of didact. And it goes on about a lot of themes, a lot of the history, a lot of events that have happened. So you get a lot of things coming in from different eras and so on. You have this combination. You have resolutions. You have payoffs. You get to explore some of the past. You get to explore some things and some connections which... Um, are very, very interesting. The book really takes a lot of that Forerunner element of the of the Halo universe, you know, that Forerunner saga feeling and all of that, because, of course, it deals with Forerunner, so you definitely have this feeling, that feeling, and it's sort of mystical in a way, uh, which I'm not going to say exactly how, uh, but it it really makes you think about like the universe as a whole about the place of each character about the overall arching story of halo because what is halo what's the story of halo i should say it's this ancient story about revenge that's that culminates in suffering and pain in the fall of an a great empire in the rise of others and the usurping of humanity by the created and the survival. So a lot of what Halo is, is contained within this book. I would say that overall, the book does a pretty good job at explaining things for um, even people who haven't read the Foreigner saga. Of course, if you read it, you're going to get it way more. You're going to be more entrenched into it. But if you don't, I think the book does a good job at sort of explaining some of what's going on. You know, the backstory, what, what the character is, what happens. So Kelly Gay did a good job on that. And for readers, it serves as a sort of um, more than just a refreshing, but like an exploration of those things that we know before. And this book definitely has a lot of answers about certain characters, certain people, uh, the whys of certain things, and uh, it definitely has answers people are looking for. I'll I'll say that much. And eventually, I'm probably going to do a video on, on explaining some of that stuff. But you know, no spoilers. The book isn't even out yet, so we'll leave that for later. So the writing is great. The pacing is pretty good too. I actually was very skeptical about the pacing of the book coming into it, like before. Like, it wasn't like skeptical as in, oh, I doubt Kelly Gay, you know. She's an amazing writer. She's written a lot of good stories. Uh, a lot of them um, from like Smoke and Fire. Uh, well, the, er the early books about the Ace of Spades crew. Um, so, you know, she is a veteran of the Halo universe. She tackles everything well. But no, I was skeptical as in the sort of setting of the story from the previews 
sort of made me how can an entire novel be written about this and like I was very much questioning all of that and then reading the book it made perfect sense and honestly the way she describes things the way she goes about things honestly it's a feat to her writing skill that she's able to picture certain things to describe certain things to make you feel like you're there in certain ways uh because you're you you have to um without giving too much away you have to open your brain up you have to expand your imagination to be able to like really um immerse yourself into it and she does a really good job at it there is a dedication to uh the late greg bear who died uh, some time now and you know without greg bear there wouldn't be a lot of the deep foundational forerunner element which has uh impacted a lot of the halo story and Honestly, he's a he was an amazing writer, so Kelly Gay definitely takes up after him after his legacy, and it's really great seeing that continue. I think if I could sum up the book in one of the Didax line, one of his quotes, it would be, "Come, the warrior, have your resolution." Aya. Ah, yeah.